can read us the TikTok comments. Jo, Dimori. <laughs> so, I, I, I don't understand where the conversation started and let's come uh, So, um, Keith goes on to say because uh, uh, because cars in Africa cost too much, the prices don't make sense for these old cars. And then Lil Nish goes on to say in Kenya. Cars. I saw even in, in, in Dubai it's cheap. Way you cheaper. Saw, you saw Way that? cheaper. Mm. Cars for cars that go for twenty million here is is five million. Yep. Yeah. So Keith goes on to say uh, no, Lil Nish says if Kenya is to be challenged, challenged. by what is happening within the world, mm-hmm. one missile and so yeah. Keith is talking about how cars in Africa are of Kenya course. especially. Do you know cars are quite affordable in South Africa? I guess the problem is the taxes. taxation. Yep. Yeah. The Heavily tax taxed. is like double the price of the car. Yep. Mm. Which makes it uh, really mm. difficult. Mm. So he goes on to say, old car costs you $7,000 in Africa when the same car costs $900 uh, to $1,000 in the US. Can you imagine two kona 100k no kona kapasate ya koswa? 100k. Rolling like Minister Wakibaki. <laughs> Sikibaki was the one who gave ministers Passat. So who was it? Uh, yeah, he's the one. Man, rest in peace to that great man and his Passats. You know, uh, we could be... Uh, okay, I don't we understand. Could, we could be much left fat. I also don't understand. But also, uh, Lil Nish is saying, uh, Kenya never, uh, never yet made silver coins that would uh, circulate. Nor even brass coins, gold. Okay, kindly give us nuanced points uh, that, that 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 have a start and a finish. Okay, uh, be be intellectual. To Namini Umenda Shule, this is an overeducated country. We're just trying to get his statements to be <laughs> clear. <laughs> We don't understand oh, oh, uh, Lil Nish. Uh, we don't understand you kindly. Uh, mm-hmm. Tell us what you're talking about, but uh, we love your comments. But I see Kid is saying uh, because white people live in South Africa, so cars, uh, so car prices will be fair. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay. yeah, uh, white people like themselves, you know, they like themselves, uh, which is something that we as black people uh, rarely do. We rarely ever have the best interests for ourselves. We are enemies of our own. You know, like, if you go to, to the latest, uh, in that video that was being shown in Dubai, it's the latest Range Rover, okay? And it's moving for little money. What do you want to do with Langata Kuinunua? Maos, you can go port. Ruto will be there personally to make sure you pay taxes. You know, Zakayo in all the way through. But, uh, I saw KRA, um, right now they have KRAs, uh, KRA, what do they call them, those people, they are working on people's shops. Yes. They are right here in Rongai. Yes. Hey, that scared me. And as we continue talking about uh, Kenyan businesses, uh, Bolt, Bolt is in some hot soup. Wow, that's sad. No. Is in support suit. So the, the statement goes that NTSA has declined to renew Bolt's operating license over complaints from drivers. Uh, the NTSA uh, refused to renew the taxi hailing companies due to alleged violations of transportation regulations, including unauthorized commission charges and booking fees. The Bolt had requested a license uh, renewal uh, as its current one issued in October 2022 expires in 17 days. However, NTSA declined the request, citing mounting complaints from drivers and their representatives regarding non-compliance and rule violations. That's good. For me, it's sad. Okay, Joby? Uh, I think this happened in Tanzania once, Mm -hmm. and like not just Tanzania, I believe Wherever Bolt, Uber is operating on all these driving apps, mm-hmm. they are actually oppressing the drivers. Mm-hmm. They tend to actually take a lot of tax, you know, or whatever they tend to, you know, the interest. 22% like, like right now in Kenya. It's a lot. Me in Apata, Nikama, Sijalipa, Midona, Pama Futa, Lakimi, the amount of money I'm making in a day. It's all, make sense. Yeah, it's all going to the company back, you know, because mm-hmm. it's crazy. Mm-hmm. So personally, I'm supporting it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and to say, I think that's a good 
thing they are doing, putting mm -hmm. the restriction, if only they are going to also ensure the interest of the drivers are met. Okay. Not just because this is a job mm -hmm. and as much as you're doing this, some other people, there are those who might be willing to yeah. like, yeah. but there are those who also, there's been complaints from drivers, it mm -hmm. means people need a change. Yeah. So I believe this, there needs to be restrictions. Like the same way we see how Chinese Indians come and uh, you know, um, Chinese Indians. Yeah, come and put their businesses here. The, tag, the <laughs> Chinese Indians. <laughs> come on, my level, uh, move on. You see how they come and put up their businesses here. They're not charged, but Africans we are overcharged, uh -huh. we are overtaxed, and all that. So it should be a fair, you know, trade affair thing. Yeah. Uh, one, I think it's sad uh, for the bolt drivers because uh, if the NTSA has uh, refused to renew their licenses, uh, this means no, that... No, it's not the drivers, it's Bolt, the company. The, the company, okay, yes. for, you know, they, uh, for now it's the NTSA that has uh, refused uh, to renew their Bolt... The company's uh, license yeah. to operate in Kenya. Yeah, so it's very sad because uh, so many uh, families, you have fathers that depend on that job. Uh, sure. or uh, Yeah, we have people who always uh, depend on that job. So where are these people going to go? Mm -hmm. And you know, it takes long because I remember in Tanzania, it took, it took like more than four months before they got their license back. And uh, this was simply because uh, the, the, the drivers from Bolt were complaining. Uh, it was actually Bolt, Uber, uh, they were complaining about the, the, uh, the company taking a lot of money mm -hmm. than what they are required and mm -hmm. they, they end up suffering. Remember, uh, sometimes you find on the app you have a 25% f a, a discount and mm -hmm. you're going to a place like uh, maybe I'm from here to my home, that's, that's not more than 200 and I have a 25% discount. Now imagine I have the 25% discount and then I'm supposed to pay minus the 25% discount. 200 minus the 25% discount. So mm -hmm. he's, he's only taking maybe 100 bob, not, not more than 100, you know. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, remember the company also needs money. So this man, he has wasted his fuel because... Uh, and his time. Yeah, and his time because at a company where size kupanda mat, there is no matter to that will take mm -hmm. twenty bob. Mm -hmm. It's th it's thirty bob. So you you find now the company has taken uh, 20, 20, 20, It has taken the twenty five percent. No, it's, it's and 20, also, in Kenya right now. Bolt is taking twenty two percent. Yes, it has taken the twenty five percent and the twenty two percent cut. That mm -hmm. is the like the one that is. Uh, like you have to give it mm -hmm. like that one is compulsory of the one you pay let's assume you paid 155 shillings mm -hmm. out of that you'll get 22 percent yes and then, you have a discount but what happens is they pay the drivers or they're supposed to pay the drivers the 25 percent discount that they offer you as the rider the company is supposed to reimburse the driver but they don't because they really do Yes, they don't because most of the time when you get into an Uber, mm -hmm. you tell them I have a discount. They even tell you cancel, cancel. Mm -hmm. Instead of that, just cancel. We go offline because uh, now I'm going to give the twenty five percent discount, and after that they are going to take the twenty two percent. Imagine what am I remaining with? Mm -hmm. It's better to go offline. And if you trust this person, sometimes I keep on telling people it's better to cancel for them if you. If you feel like you true, can trust this true, this true. person because they are also trying to evade and get home uh, with mm -hmm. something you mm -hmm. know they have children they have families now i'm feeling for them because right now it means they are not at work there's no bread yeah there's no bread mm -hmm. and this is why i'm feeling so sad for them it's so bad because uh, now where are their families going to eat where Naruto. are they uh, Watoto wao watafukuzwa shule. Who will pay school fee for them? But we have, to also, we also have to agree that the fact that NTC is doing this because Bolt has been violating, violating or oppressing the mm. drivers. Mm. So that's why personally I said if they are going to do this, especially in a shorter time, because uh, seven, date 17 I come back, mm. that is the deadline of the it the expires in 17 days exactly mm -hmm. so i believe if, it's, if it's, this is going to benefit the drivers actually if the ntsa is going to ensure drivers what a benefit mm -hmm. it's a good thing the f the problem is gonna be 
if they do this then if you can the date drivers then our quests are affected because right now i don't think they're yet affected the reason i said this was sad was because uh, if you have a rat in your house you don't burn the house you kill the rat you kill the rat if a system is not working you don't destroy the system Change. you find a way to fix it mm -hmm. and uh bolt employs fifty thousand drivers in kenya mm -hmm. fifty thousand drivers depend on bolt mm -hmm. in kenya and there, there has been there have been complaints in the matatu industry did we cancel the matatu industry no. did we ban supermetro no we found ways to fix it so i feel like the government has the power to make statutory to make rules mm -hmm. to say from to it, it just requires the it just requires a, a, a release from more mm -hmm. something like no no organization will be allowed to deduct more than 10 percent from drivers you know mm -hmm. that statement is enough you know yes. so we, we really don't need to to to, to have fifty thousand drivers fifty thousand families unemployed mm -hmm. just because a certain company it's is not working yeah right. is not working for them and this is you know this is the case it's it's sad to me i don't think uh terminating their license is enough because there are so many drivers Okay, they, they were being oppressed and they were going home with 300, but now they don't even have that 300. Mm -hmm. So why don't we find a way to fix it as they work? Why don't Murkomen sit down with bold officials and find a solution? To you know Bolt doesn't have an office. They don't. They must be. I mean, no. Ruto Head, Ruto Head, Ruto Head, the CEO of TikTok, come to Kenya. <laughs> the, the, no problem. They no. had that. No, listen. If he the wants, the you tactic, can have the, the tactic uh, Bolt uses. They have uh, an international office. The tactic Bolt uses is this. Mm -hmm. There is nowhere mm -hmm. that a driver or rider mm -hmm. can physically go mm -hmm. to go complain. They have no physical location. In Kenya. Yes. Yes. And if you complain about fares and all that, mm -hmm. what they do is ban you from the app for a few weeks or months. I was told so that's where told the government should come in, the Ministry of uh, Transport. Yes. The Ministry of Transport should okay, find a they, way to find a solution. They have an office. Yes, where? ride hailing farm bolt has launched its African habit. Yeah, Nairobi. let them see. Joining a grow. Okay, it is. Um, uh, the Estonian-based company has uh, opened its Africa head office in Riverside Drive, which will host top managers overseeing operations <laughs> in the region. When was that? Top they managers in uh, the region. 20, 20, 20, 20. They must be having uh, Riverside. Mm. They must Riverside. be having Riverside. Riverside. Not Riverside. You know, and, 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 and I mean. <laughs> 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 <laughs>